Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the bomber number LB4381-400-603. Four by four single acting spring hinge, full mortise, residential weight, lube bearing, steel base, and a zinc plated finish. So let's dissect the part number a bit. The LB stands for a lube bearing or maintenance free sort of bearing construction by bomber the 4381 is a reference to the treatment on the corners we've got one leaf with a 5 8 radius and one leaf square and it's a reference to the hole pattern of the screws that information dimension the dimensional information is below this video in the template which we'll get to in a moment the 400 is a reference to the size this is a four inch tall hinge and four inch wide Oop. okay and the 603 means that it is a steel base hinge but with a zinc coat on it and zinc plating is a very a very good uh, corrosion resistant sort of plating to have it's got a silver finish to it so it might complement your chrome hardware um, and it's corrosion resistant. You'll see these installed in exterior applications uh, used uh, specifically with Stanley door systems. I should have said the LB4381 is a Stanley door uh, compliant or compatible sort of system. Now referring back to that template uh, below this video, the template shows everything important dimensionally about the hinge. So you'll be able to look at very accurately where the screw holes are. But more importantly, it tells you that the hinge, the leaf thickness is 96 thousandths of an inch, okay, which is typical for residential uh, sort of hinges. So all that information is there. Speaking of uh, screw hole locations, hinges, hinge screws are included, all wood, all machine screws with this, and a complementary finish. Um, this is a full mortise hinge. You can see from the swag on the hinge leaves that when the leaves are brought parallel, they're intended to be mortised flush to the edge of the door and frame. And being a spring hinge, it is intended to self-close a door, there's no doubt. Hinges like this are gonna be used uh, on uh, exterior doors when they want something to be self-closing. Attached garages, the door between the garage and the home, it's very typically fire rated uh, and a self-closing sort of a uh, piece of hardware is uh, needed to make a fire door self-closing because it has to be self-closing and self-latching actually. And a spring hinge certainly complies with that. This is available in several different finishes as well. The zinc tells me it's an exterior application. <coughs> now, there is below this video also a guide by which to determine how many spring hinges you should be putting onto a door. If it's up to 85 pounds, Bomber is recommending two spring hinges and up to 110 pounds three spring hinges. And you can certainly mix this with a standard hinge because the axis of pivoting is compatible with a standard four by four hinge. Now regarding the quantity, I'm a fan of all spring hinges. And I'm a fan of all spring hinges, well, because first they're inexpensive in my opinion. But more to the point, I have uh, adjusted these, installed these many times over many different parts of the year, been back at different parts of the year for the same door and found that when a door is underpowered in terms of how many springs are doing the job or if the door is too heavy for the quantity of spring hinges or if the conditions are such that the door doesn't have much of a chance of closing you're, and, and, and if you're underpowered with the quantity of spring hinges you will have an intermittent sort of success rate with the self-closing and self-latching part, uh, uh, part of the operation of the door. Spring hinges are good with the quantity of energy that they've got stored when the doors open out at 90 degrees. But if you don't have enough residual stored energy when the door is down at its closing or its latching cycle, you may not get the door to actually latch because it's overcoming the wind resistance or the air pressure. It's overcoming the friction of the latch striking the strike plate. Uh, and if you've got one spring hinge, hinge and you should have two or two and you should have three, you gotta crank the tension on the spring so high just to get the door moving quick enough through the closing cycle to have enough inertia left to get it to latch. Sometimes it bounces open, sometimes it doesn't make it. There might be a window open at the other end of the building and now the door is being 
held open until that window is closed. Um, so I'm a fan of all spring hinges. I liken it to a tugboat. They don't go very fast, but they can pull a lot of weight at a slow speed. Lots of spring hinges will help you control the door better where you're not setting the tension very high, but you still have enough residual torque at the end to get it to latch. Now, setting the tension, there is a link below this video to the installation instructions which uh, show how to go about doing it, but it's very simple. With a hinge like this from Bomber, you're going to get a tension rod and you're going to get a tension pin as well. And along with that tension rod, you'll get a, you'll get a tension pin, a little silver pin. This order actually has two of them on it because there's two hinges on this order. So what you do is when the tension collar is pointed up, and that's how you install it, it will work for either a left hand or, well actually no, that's not true. This is an, a, uh, this is an asymmetrical uh, hinge. So if you're installing it with the tension collar up, just reverse it if you're not, insert the tension rod into one of these pins, uh, pardon me, into one of these holes, and turn it clockwise. And as you do that, you reveal new holes in the spring tension collar. And it's into one of those holes that you insert the tension pin. Again, if you're insta install it, installing it in the, in the down position, turn it counterclockwise. Um, and that's how you set the tension. Bomber recommends about three holes to be n not uh, exceeded when you're setting the tension. Okay, and that's how you go about doing it. You'll obviously install it with no tension and you'll come with your tension rod and set your pins. Be conservative, set it low, test it, increase it, test it, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, I like putting the springs up at the top uh, always uh, on it because they seem to be more efficient at getting the door in a closed position at that point. Um, Bomber is a full line manufacturer of all things residential spring hinge related for every uh, common uh, door system that there really is. Again, this is for the Stanley door system. Uh, and is compatible with these corner treatments for that. Any questions on the Stanley number LB4381-400-603, single acting spring hinge, or any other Bomber product, please feel free to reach out to us. Last thing I'd like to point out to you is the Bomber logo. It says Made in USA right above it, a fact that Bomber is quite proud of, as am I to be a distributor of theirs. Thank you very much.